Okay, hey guys, and welcome to another Superman suit review. What I'm doing is I am covering the Sim Cosplay Superman Legacy suit. And as you can see, at first glance, this suit is very, very well done. Uh, the one thing that I do love about this suit, which I'm not, I wasn't a fan of a lot of the stills, which that could probably be like a separate video where I actually talk about it, but I am gonna probably loosely talk about it and cover it in this video as well because you can't do a suit review without talking about the suit. Um, I do think that as far as the coloring goes, I love the coloring that they used. I think that it feels like it's a callback to the Superman movie. Um, I like that the colors aren't as washed out or uh, desaturated, I guess would be the right word. Uh, they feel very classic Superman. Um, the other thing that I'm really, really loving is the texture. All of the textures on the suit look phenomenal. Um, it, it's just really kind of makes it feel like it's actually like straight out of the movie. Even though I think the movie they use kind of like a rubbery type of fabric, but for some reason this actually looks better. Um, I've seen a lot of other cosplayers that are now uh, purchasing the suit and they've, they've been posting them, whether they be in like Superman groups or something like that. And funny enough, they look really, really good, even better than some of the promotional uh, images and the stills that were leaked for the movie. So I, I do think that the suit is great. I think that it's the sizing and everything else that plays a very huge part. Uh, the stitching overall and the structure of the suit is very well done. Sim Cosplay really outdid themselves as far as they not only glued down the urethane symbol, but what they also did was they actually added stitching around the lining. So it's very secure, very, very uh, safe and secure. The stitching all around the leather parts of the fabric, that was also another thing because like the, these uh, leather detailing, it really makes the costume pop. It breaks up a lot of the simplicity of it but it also adds some kind of like, you know, dimension to it. Now, as far as like the uh, accuracy, it, it looks very close to what the movie looks like. And I would actually even go so far as to say superior to what the movie has done so far. But I also know that, you know, when you're doing movies, uh, you can edit the suits in post-production. You can also like, you know, stop a lot of the bunching and stuff like that. The mannequin doesn't really do it justice. And that's mainly because when you're looking at, like, you know, the suit on a mannequin, the mannequin is slimmer than I am, um, and has, like, you know, a little bit less, uh, you know, as far as the sizing goes. Um, usually, I rate my experience of cosplays based on how much editing I would have to do on the suit after. And because the film suit is basically flat, like, this, this suit doesn't have like muscle shading, doesn't have a lot of stuff to showcase the muscles in the best way. And I've, I've said this once before with um, a, another suit that I've also reviewed. Sometimes when you have like, you know, this really, really good physique, the suits don't always necessarily showcase it the way that you would want in certain lighting. And I feel like this is kind of one of those suits where it's a little bit of a gray area where it does that as well. Um, the leather detailing and the stitching is so secure on the suit that I have not had any issues of it like peeling off or worried about it like you know coming off or coming loose or anything like that. So that is one thing that I will say is really really good. Um, my seller experience, I didn't have much of an interaction with the seller, but I would say that overall it was still positive. Um, I, I think like the suit, I know it took a little bit longer than usual. The reason behind that is because they were still uh, developmental. So it was kind of almost like it was like a pre-order type of uh, deal. So I did contact the seller because I paid for expedited shipping and seller responded back very, very quickly, very, very promptly, um, actually refunded me back the difference for the expedited shipping and really kind of was very, uh, forthcoming about the fact that it would take a little bit longer because of the fact that it was not fully like it, it was in development still um overall i think that 
there are a lot of great things about this suit and like i said before the design i'm not like you know sure if it's like really one of my favorite suits but that's mainly because i didn't really like you know care as much for the uh the original design which kind of brings us into our negative portion of the review so going into the negative portion of the review um the sizing is a little off um, now the reason behind that is because American sizes usually run a little bit different from uh, like you know the, the Chinese sizes that you would get this suit in. Um, as far as I can tell normally when I order a suit I'm between like a small and a medium. Um, I went up to a large and it still doesn't quite fit properly. It's still a little small. So if I was going to recommend this suit to anyone, I would recommend that you go up maybe like a size or two higher um, and, and try to do something like that because fabric, it's stretchy, but it's not as stretchy, I guess, as like, you know, the, the Lycra spandex that like, you know, you would get from the uh, Superman, the movie uh, suits. And, you know, it, it's a decently priced suit, by the way. It, that this is going back into the positive because I feel like I'm kind of jumping around a little bit but suit is not a very very expensive suit it's actually a very well crafted suit for uh, for the price that you're paying for it it's very well done I mean I think that if you really wanted something that's replica obviously like you know I'm sure that other uh, suit makers are developing it but this overall is like <laughs> just spot on and it's great. Um, now the sizing, which I, like I said before, I would try to go up maybe like two sizes, maybe even more. Um, I would also reflect on the sizing chart. They do have a sizing chart. I thought that like, you know, the, the sizing chart was pretty accurate. But like I said before, if you look at the sizing chart, I would still go up one. Um, as for the hidden zipper at the back of the suit, um, I would have to move the whole cape over and turn this whole thing around, but zipper is very hidden. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that for you guys. Now, look at this. Back to the uh, yellow cape, the yellow S on the cape. Love that. The cape is not a flimsy fabric. It's actually very well stitched, very well done. Um, I think, like I said before, this is very well done. And it's also stitched sim similar to the uh, front. Now, as you can see, the zipper is very much hidden. You would never really be able to tell, but if you undo the snap here, the zipper is very, very hard. It could be because of the sizing. It could be because of the sizing. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna flip this back around. Get him. Okay, and here we go. So, going back to what I was saying on the reviews, um, sizing definitely plays a huge part in the negative part of the review, but I mean, that's also like, you know, something that's easily uh, solvable. solvable. Uh, the hidden zipper though, it took me nearly 15 minutes with another person to get into the suit because it kept getting snagged on the zipper and the zipper started getting snagged onto the fabric and it was just a whole ordeal. So I don't know if anybody else is having similar issues with this suit. Um, if they are, if you do have this suit and you do have that experience, I would love to know in the co comments below or if there's any suggestions, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, while the cape is very well done and very anchored, one of the things that I don't like, and I feel like it's kind of like, it might be a little nitpicky, but I don't like that the cape doesn't tuck in. Um, I could actually edit this or fix it, and I have been editing it in photos, so you're not really seeing it as much. I think I've been editing it kind of poorly, if I'm being honest. But you, I, I think what I'm going, going to try and do is I'm going to try and add like a slit here and tuck the cape under a little bit so that this way like it, it's very seamless and flows very well but uh snaps very good they don't come off I think I might do an even velcro and like you know reinforce it on the 
shoulders of the suit. Um, another thing that I will say is these shoulders are padded. Um, so if that is a problem for certain people, I'm sure like, you know, they can probably work with you. You might be able to customize it and do such a thing. Um, as far as like, you know, the film goes and overall, I do think this cosplay looks exactly like the suit in a lot of ways, but most of my criticisms kind of come from the actual suit design versus the actual cosplay itself. Sorry guys, I uh, had a call break up the video recording. Okay, so overall, um, like I said before, my criticisms typically come from my issues with the suit design versus the actual cosplay. But um, since this is a suit review, I'll get right into it. Um, overall, I do think that it's pretty accurate. I think that the elements of the Superman suit, such as the colors and the brighter, like, you know, colors and the more saturated look, as well as the trunks being back, really do like it. Um, I don't like the fact that this suit, because of the higher neckline, feels and looks very militaristic. It looks kind of re reminiscent of, like, the uh, New 52 Superman, but that also wasn't one of my favorite designs, which is probably the reason why I'm not so crazy about this. Like this high neckline, I would have probably like, you know, cut it and boxed it off and made it closer to most of the other Superman, uh, most of the other Superman designs. But um, I wasn't fully sold on it being reminiscent symbolized on the uh, Kingdom Come with the yellow. Uh, as far as I know, I think the first time that you see it on screen is I think, uh, the Infinite Crisis, no, it's uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, sorry, always mix that up. But um, the Kingdom Come logo, I feel like it's not a good place to start. I would have preferred a more classic looking Superman symbol. Um, not saying that this is bad, I think that they just, like, you know, kind of jumped the gun a little bit or put the cart before the horse. Um, the suit, in some ways, just doesn't feel like Superman to me. It feels like almost kind of Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy or, or something like that. And I know it's James Gunn, so naturally the design is going to be very, like, you know, similar to that. But I don't know, it just, there's something about it that doesn't feel Superman to me. And it always kind of bothered me when we saw, like, the stills and stuff. Not to mention if you were going to do, like, a uh, release for Superman, like, you know, pro like an actual, like, release image for like the uh, costume I guess that's not really the word I would use but um the one thing that I don't like is that when you sit there and you see Superman just putting on his boots and there's crap popping off outside it doesn't look very uh doesn't look very inspiring I guess um it feels very Guardians of the Galaxy though and that's I think something that will really kind of like you know just makes it hard for me to unsee it and it makes it very hard for me to really love this cosplay as much as uh, certain people like I said before this is my opinion I don't expect people to support or like you know feel like they they have to agree with me on this this is really just my preference and my opinion on the suit itself so overall um, like you know back to the actual suit review for the cosplay um, Back to uh, Captain Superman, where it kind of, like I said before, it, it's a great cosplay, just there's something about it for me that always felt very much like it was lacking in the Superman department. Um, the boots. Uh, to end off everything, because I usually seem to forget this portion of the review for the boots. Um, for the boots, I'm usually a size 10, size 10 and a half around there. I ordered a size 10 for every other cosplay, never had any issue. Uh, the boots are a little bit small, they're a little snug. Even in the uh, photos, they for some reason make my shoes look a lot smaller. Um, I, I would recommend, much like I do with the suit, going up sizes when it comes to uh, the boots. Because even though it says US 10, it's not really a US 10 actually probably closer to like a eight or a nine it feels like but um 
yeah, overall, I do love this suit. I enjoy doing photos of it. I do feel like if the edits do the suit more justice than me just wearing the suit, I might actually do a video where I'm wearing the suit so that this way you guys can actually see how it looks, see the movement, see how everything kind of works. Um, it has been very, very tough to juggle between this, the job, everything else that I'm kind of doing. But I would love to kind of, uh, you know, try to see how that's gonna go. And yeah, I mean, uh, overall, if I was going to rate this suit for the price and for everything, like, you know, wrapped up in one, I would say that this is a, I'd say it's like a six out of 10 or a seven out of 10. I would say that it's, it's definitely a suit I would recommend. Um, it's on the lower end. It's not, like I said before, one of my favorite designs, but I do feel like they did a phenomenal job of doing what they did with the suit. Um, it's not an overly complicated, you know, uh, suit. And I think that even with like the lining and with everything that they did, they did a great job. Um, it's not that rubbery material, so it doesn't bunch up as much, and it looks better when, like, you know, regular cosplayers are going to cons or probably wearing it. It's very breathable. It's not hot. It's not stuffy. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to bring this video to an end. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, be sure to check out some of the other reviews. I'm going to probably be doing a few Batman reviews because predominantly I've been doing a lot of Superman suit reviews but I'm going to try and cover a little bit more of the other cosplays as well. So you're gonna probably see me do uh, Arrow, uh, Batman eventually, because I have uh, two from two suits from Rob uh, that I've just been dying to do reviews on. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and hit that bell so that you never miss out on any of the content.